Uh, well, I guess I'm off to see Dr. Fenwick then. Oh man, what a game. What a game. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Capture a bunny, supposedly being a giant. Yeah. What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> it's brilliant though. I don't know. It's, it, it's enjoyable, it's funny. There we go. Alright. Right, right, right. Let me get my bearings. Uh, I missed something very big. Yeah, that was an Ashbury, so that's very far away at this point. Um, yeah, I suppose we should just uh, get going. I'm not sure if I want to do that now. Not sure. There. Took a very strange route to Torrance. You know, change things up. Um, no, apparently, uh, well, not apparently. I, um, uh, didn't. What do you want? Level 20 or individual? Okay. Um, I. In Ashbury, if you remember, there's, uh. In the north. I, I know I looked at it when I was not recording yet, because we was just kind of looking around the map and, uh,. As I normally do, kind of go through the logs and, you know, kind of get my bearings on. Um, there is a giant-ass castle there. And I did not go to it or even show it in any way uh, in any of the past sets. So, a lot of people have been telling me that I should. So, um, I think I'll stop by there. I guess that's only fair. I'm not sure if there is even quests or anything. I'm going to assume yes, considering a lot of people want me to go there. So, um, yeah, I think I should. So that's, yeah, just informing you. What did you summon? A ragged fighter. Yeah. Good on you. Uh, let's see. A scimitar. Oh yeah, those unidentified robes are quite good, weren't they? Cloaked figure. Not gonna be as good. No. I think those daggers were worth something, though. Yeah, I'm really not sure where I've been. I don't think I've been to the Uncharted Cave. I uh, yeah, it's it's real a real bummer when you don't record a game for a while. But uh, a level eight, really a level eight. Come on, get me out of combat. So I can, you know, get some money. Regular sword, you know, it's not even worth it. <laughs> it's not even worth picking up. That's how bad you are. Uh, okay, so now comes the real issue. How the hell am I gonna find the zoological department? This is where I wish I had a map. You know, a real map showing, you know, what building is what. Quality armor, gun shop. I mean, it says for some stuff, but, you know, what's here? What's here? I don't know. It doesn't tell me. It shows shops on the uh, overall map, I think. Um. Or maybe those are. Could those be the uh, little nameplates that I had to look at or something? That could be. That could be. Now, I think I looked at some of these as well. Um. Well. Yeah, I'm really not sure. I, rem I remember hearing the name. I got the feeling it says it's up in the north or northeast. 
Uh, well, maybe we can ask. Could you help me? Um, neither of those. Neither of those. Maybe Bates can tell me? Uh, may I ask you a question? Where's the Elven City of Kantara? Yeah, okay. Thanks. That's really helpful. Um, I mean, who else is gonna know? Hmm. This uh, might take a while. This is this is the part I really don't like about Tehran. Cause it just, yeah. How are you supposed to know? Unless you actually have a physical map in front of you, then yeah, you can look it up, but... Still haven't found the Cesare guy. <laughs> this is really bad. Picked that quest up so many sets ago. HT Parnell. Gilbert Bates. No, I don't want that. Maybe I can ask uh, this guy. Yeah, come back in the morning, where I can just walk in. Um, it definitely wasn't in here. That's ridiculous. No, I think I went out of the gate then. I'm kind of just retracing the steps I, I know I did at some point. I think I went up here. That was not the first building, because it was the captain of the guard or something? Where I just... Oh yeah. So the Department of Water. I can maybe go into the sewers now. That, that, that could actually be a thing. A yeah, zoological society. Fuck yes, memory. Yeah, that's Fentwick. Yes. Alright. Yay for randomly talking to people and then remembering them later. Um, I need to speak to you. I need to speak with you about the Stillwater Giant. Bear urine. Great. Uh, I don't know, but I've captured a giant. Here it is. Um, Dr. Hippington has examined it and assures me it is the giant. It's not. It, it's not. Hmm. Um, he says that you were a genius. <laughs> okay, uh, well, hoax or not, I need to find a pellet of one, somehow. <laughs> Something so obvious. H.T. Parnell, that story just came, or passed by. A pellet of the Stillwater China display, okay. Huh. Okay, that's that's cool. That's cool. So, oh, what happened there? Um, so, what if you just got the quest from Mirth, and then you stopped by HD Parnells and remembered that pelt, and then yeah, you could essentially just go and buy it. So what a giant display. And there's an orc. There's an orc on display. I'm curious. Splat greets the amazing Gar, the world's most intelligent orc. Ugh, my Gar, world's smartest orc. You have got question. Uh, Chuck is a lot smarter than you, I'm gonna say. Um, I do not know. What is your area of expertise? I know much things. Gar tell all. Politics, mathematics, tea. Uh, mathematics? Tell me, what is... Let me just, you know... Uh, that ought to be... 
Oh god. Yeah, just triple checking as I don't want to sound like a complete idiot. Uh, 4,573,200 divided by 6,543. Gar not genius. Gar smarter than other orcs. Not smarter than professor of mathematics. I know 25 times 40 equals 1,000. No other orc tell you that. That is true. That may be, but orcs are idiots. <laughs> you smart. Now you understand. Gar world smartest orc. Oh, uh, what else can you tell me about? I know much things. Gar tell all. Politics, mathematics, tea. Hmm. It's repeating that. Something's fishy here. Uh, tea? Yes, Gar like tea. Gar civilized. Gar say Earl Grey best. Made from blend of black teas and oil from the bergamo plant. Excellent, Gar say. Surely you jest. Everyone knows green teas are superior to black. Oh, come now, that is rubbish. Green tea is for the foreign constitution, not for consumption by those with discerning... Uh, <coughs> I mean, uh, uh, Gar no like green tea. Why are you like? Why are you acting the idiot? You're meant to be smart. Gar not idiot. Gar smart. Listen here, madam. Have you ever conversed with a purebred orc? You'll not be in for a scintillating conversation. Of that I can assure you. Uh, but isn't the point of all this that you're smarter than other orcs? Of course. But people will not accept a cultured orc. The very idea is preposterous. They would begin saying I was an half orc or even deduce my truth. I mean, uh, what I meant to say was, it is more effective showmanship for me to appear in every bit the orc and to say brilliant things. And uh, deduce your true what? You're not a purebred orc? No, he's not, clearly. Garfield Thelonious Remington III, a pure human stock at your service. I am not orc at all. Well, one can assume that somewhere in my lineage there exists orc blood simply from looking at me. But my direct antecedents, my parents and grandparents, were fully human. Imagine their shock when I was born. Uh, so why do you do this? It seems rather demeaning. You must have seen how orcs are treated in this world. It is not pretty. Though my circumstances may seem demeaning, it is better than being spit on in the streets, or being no more than a slave in a factory. Mm, are you owned by this museum, or are you free to leave? I am a bit of an indentured servant of Mr. Parnell's. He paid my parents a good sum of coin to have me come work for him. Hmm. That was a bit cruel of your parents to sell you off. Nonsense. I sold myself to Mr. Parnell over their objections. They were treated with scorn and derision because of me. My father lost his employment, his reputation, and his social standing. But even then, they would do nothing but love me as their son. The coin I received from Mr. Parnell has given them a comfortable life and rescued them from the poverty I caused. Hmm. So how long are you meant to be on display here? I will most likely stay here for the remainder of my existence. I have nothing else to do with my life. It's not so bad, actually. The only dreadful aspect of this existence is the sheer boredom. You cannot imagine the idiocy of the common folk I must contend with on a daily basis. Yeah. So I'd like to bring him, I think. I, I th I'm i pretty sure I'm capped out, though. So, yeah, I can't. I I'd like to. Yeah, that, that would be cool. Um. Yeah, why don't you join with me? Uh, I can promise it will not be boring. While that sounds intriguing, I am indentured to Mr. Parnell for years to come, as I have said. It would cost quite a bit of coin to free me from my obligations. Well, if I were to secure your freedom, would you join with me? Of course. 